So in this step, we want to convert the feature collection to an image. So the feature collection we just made, we want to turn into an image um, because we're going to need that for the step that follows to calculate the percent difference as just a local operation with images. So let's go ahead and, uh, and copy this snippet and then go over here and paste it in. And so this is the convert to image. So the very first step I'm going to do here is actually just look at this feature collection that we just made. And just to kind of reinforce that the output of the reduce region step is going to be a feature collection, even though the input was an image. And so this thing was called median LST. And hmm, all right. And uh, I'm just going to kind of ignore that and keep going. And uh, so this is a feature collection. So we wouldn't use biz parameters like we've defined previously. I'm just going to have cold. It's just going to have the, the empty curly brackets here, which by default will draw the feature collection black, kind of like we did with the extent rectangle. But then I'm going to call this thing the median LST feature collection, and I'm going to say false. And then before I hit run, I'm just going to, uh, I want these other things to not display automatically either. So I'm going to say false there and false there. So they're there if I want them, but don't draw them when I hit run. And what you should get here, once it loads the uh, modules, is the layers. And then if I look at my median LST FC, it should draw this in and it should come in as black. And it's gonna take it a little bit because it's now that I'm asking it to draw it that it's actually running the calculations. Google is, um, the it's cleverly lazy where it's only gonna do a task if you, ask it to. Um, maybe we can all relate. Um, and uh, so if, if it has to kind of deliver something, it actually does the task. Otherwise, it just knows that you've asked it to do it, but may not actually run the calculation. So then if we zoom into this, we can use the inspector and see that this little black polygon that I, um, that's kind of an island here. Um, if we go to the median LST feature collection, Again, it's doing the work of having to come up with a number, so it's taking a while for it to do. And uh, if we cruise down here, go to properties, we see that the median value for this little tiny polygon is 95.74 and change. And if I went over to this bigger polygon next to it, um, it should give me, it's gonna work on it. It's gonna give me this, should give me the same median value. Um, because again, this thing was, uh, was a multi-polygon feature. So even though these polygons are drawn separately, they're stored as one feature. And because the output of the last step is going to attach a property to each feature, it only attaches one. There's the same median value, okay? So, okay, so we know the median value for our area of interest. We have a single value that represents the median land surface temperature for all of the pixels that are covered by these polygons. Um, and what we're gonna wanna do is take this and get the percent difference of the average summer temperature at each pixel compared to the median temperature of the region. So we're gonna wanna basically take this and then subtract and divide with this data, but this data is, is locked up as a feature collection and we need to get it to be an image. Is that is that fair as to why we need to do this step? So then let's go ahead and, and do this. We're gonna go median LST image and we need to use the reduce to image method of a feature collection, right? So. It's a feature collection that takes the properties that we're interested in, basically grabbing the property from the feature collection and using that to, um, to store in each pixel of the raster. And then um, we need a reducer just in case um, uh, we have overlapping features, which we don't have, but I think we are still required to define it. So um, let's go ahead and grab that set of instructions here and go into here and say that what we want to do is take our median, oh, it's going to be equal to our median underscore LST, this guy right here, 
Um, and then I'm going to say dot and paste that in. So this feature collection, I'm going to reduce to image. And I'm going to treat this again as a dictionary, even though it's not too painful. And, uh, and the properties are going to be, I want this. No, sorry. I want in here. I want the property is going to be called median and it needs to be a string. And then the reducer um, kind of doesn't matter, uh, but I think you need to give it something. So what value should we grab from this feature collection? And I think if there were overlapping features, this would matter. But because we don't have overlapping features, I could say max, I could say min, I could say mean, that should all give me the same number because there's really only num one one number it could be. So I'm just gonna say max for now. Is that is that okay? If you, we can talk about this in lecture if you would like to. Um, and uh, so I think that's gonna work. And given my confidence layer and the time and everything else I need to do, I'm just gonna add it as a layer right now. So type that all out, probably would have been better just to copy that and paste it in there. And oh, what do I need to do here? Let's just, um, I'm gonna make this an empty set and this should give me a black and white image of the meat. This, it, there should only be one value here. So we don't have to really worry about using colors to display it. Is that fair? Um, and then I'm gonna say median, LST image and say false and wink at it and hit run and save the script as it's running and then give us a little bit of real estate to look at the results. Pauses while it brings in those modules and hits run and ah, it's too cocky. What's wrong here? Median SLST. What's it mad about? Uh, uh, I do this a lot. It wants this to be a, in a list. And uh, I always forget that it has that quirk. So what this means is you forgot to put this as a list. And I probably should have uh, been more aware of that because it's telling me right there. So hit run again, save it. And uh, let's see how it does. In the meantime, that's that. Okay, so I think what you're gonna get here is that if you look at your median LST FC, we should have this kind of black region of polygon. And remember the median value, wherever we clicked on a polygon was gonna be the same. And so if we have this, we now get a, uh, a what appears to be a white layer, but if we go to the inspector and click on it, what you should see is that the median LST image um, pixel value is uh, 95.74. And these these are gonna be different, um, but that's, uh, why are they giving me two outputs here? Did I draw this twice? Oh, did I hit, sometimes if I hit run and then hit run again while it's running, it winds up double printing everything. So let me just see if that was the issue. Did you see how I clicked run twice? Maybe this happens to you and you wonder why you get these redundant things printed out to your uh, to your map. Um, so I just clicked it once and I have to be patient and not click it again. And then I should only get uh, printed out once here. And when I use the inspector and I grab the MS, this and I click, yeah, now I'm only getting one instance of each rather than the double. So where I just clicked, the pixel there had an average summer temperature of 95.2 and the median value is 95.7. And if we go down to our median LST, you'll see that that value basically got dropped for every pixel that's underneath the feature. Is that fair? And then the last thing to notice is that that with the way this tool works is that anything that is not in our area of interest gets, so I just clicked on that little hole there. And what you should see is the 
image that we created from that feature collection, if the pixel lies outside of the feature, it gets automatically masked. Is that all right? So that's, that's, that's good. We just did that step. Let's keep moving. So save and move on. 